Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you eight different um, activity centers that I created for my kiddos to use for next school year. I will leave links below um, where you can get all of these from my website um, if you're interested, so just want to say that first. But we're going to get right into it. All of these activities are phonics based, and they're basically um, all alphabet beginning sounds and um, recognizing alph alphabet letters. Um, some of them are um, putting alphabet letters in order. Um, so I would use these with kids. I'm gonna use them with my three-year-old and my five-year-old, um, and um, maybe even my one-year-old, but they're probably over his head a little bit. Um, but so those are about the ages. So preschool, kindergarten, first grade is probably the age what you would wanna use these activities. So let me show you the first one. So the first one I made is um, a sailor one. It's Sail the Sea of Sounds. And you're gonna get alphabet cards that are on little sailboats, isn't that cute? And then um, you're gonna get picture cards that have um, these lighthouses. Now you're gonna get a whole ton of them. But the way I set it up is um, you're gonna put the alphabet cards on the mat. This is the mat. You're gonna put them right here. And then um, I just took out four of the picture card so the child doesn't get too overwhelmed with a whole stack of them. And what they're going to do is they're going to flip over the card. So here we have a T. And then they're going to look at their picture cards and they're going to try to find the ones that start with the letter T. So we have taco. And they're going to put that one there. And then wagon does not. And we have top. And game does not. So now we did it. T for taco and T for top, and then they can just repeat it. So then they can flip over the next card, and they have R, and I would make sure you laid out some different pictures, but make sure you have the two R's in there so that they could pick out the two R's, and they could just keep going. I have for every letter of the alphabet, and there's two pictures for every um, sailboat card for every letter of the alphabet. Now, I also made these in color so they're real pretty but i thought that um, i would save a little bit of ink and i would just print out the cards on um, colored paper and that would work just as well um, but i provide all of these um, if you download them i provide all of them in color like everything is going to be in color and in black and white so you can kind of do whatever you want you could print the whole thing in black and white you can print it all in color um, you could do what i did and print some of it in color like i printed the mat in color and then i did the cards in black and white and just printed them on colored paper um, to save a little bit of ink that way so whatever you want to do but that's the first activity all right the next activity center are these little strips these are um, alphabet strips that I made and I like to include the picture with them so that you can teach the kids the sounds as you're teaching them um, this activity this activity helps them um, with um, alphabet order so what they're gonna do is they're gonna take one of the strips and they're going to see it's C, D, E, what letter comes next. And then they're going to get these cards, and they're going to go through. F comes next, so they will put it on their strip. Yes. And then they can keep going. W, X, and Z, what goes in here. They're going to look in their um, pictures here, and they're going to try to find Y. Now, like I said, um, for real young kids, I would separate. You know, I wouldn't give them the whole stack of cards. I would separate a couple of them so that they only had to choose from a few um, so, till they found their match. But if you're working with a little bit older student, they might be okay with having the whole stack in front of them. But that's how this activity works, and there's just a whole bunch of them, as you can see here, and with just the, the letters missing in different spots, and they have to figure out what is missing. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So this next one is matching pictures and um, or matching pencils. And so what they're gonna do is, I only pulled out three of them, but I have them, here you can see I have them for the entire alphabet, all of the puzzles. And by the way, I also include a little um, label that you can put on your bags to keep your activity and it has the directions on it. Um, so that's how I'm keeping mine. If you've seen my other videos, you saw that. But um, okay, so what they're gonna do is they're just gonna match. So I only put three out for a younger student. You'd only probably wanna put a couple of them out. For an older student, you could put maybe, um, you know, a whole slew of them out and have them match. But I just put three out, and then all they're gonna do is they're just gonna match them up. So C goes with K, and D goes with duck, and Y goes with yarn, and there we go. We've got our three pencils. 
So that is that activity. All right, the next one. This one is called a sound flipping cover. And I, I made a, let me move these for a minute. I made a couple of different mats, you can see. Okay. Um, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I made four of them. And up here on the top, it tells the teacher which cards you're going to use. For this mat, we're only going to use cards G, H, I, J, and K. So I pulled those ones out. Um, as you can see, I printed them on colored paper just to make it a little bit more fun. So I pulled those cards out and I mixed them up and you're going to set them upside down on the mat. And then what the child is going to do, I'm so excited by the way to use these with my kids next school year. Um, I just think they're going to have so much fun. But what they're going to do is they're going to flip it over and this one is K. So then they're going to cover up all the pictures that begin with the letter K on their mat. You can use any kind of manipulative. Here I have um, just some, you've seen these before in my other videos, pom-poms with magnets glued. Uh, my kids love those, that's why I use them so much. But I also have these little, um, whoops, these little puppets that they like to use. You know, they're like little finger puppets and you can stand them up as you can see, and they can use those to cover up things. I have so many different manipulatives that we use, but anyways, so that's what I have in here. So now they're going to take their little manipulative and they're gonna cover up their um, ones that start with K. So we've got kangaroo, and we've got kite, and we've got king. Let's see, do I see any more? Okay, so some of them will have like three to cover up. Some of them will have, you know, two pictures to cover up. Some of them may have, um, you know, five pictures to cover up. Now you can do it like this where they cover up all of them at once, or you can just have them cover up one picture that starts with K, and then they keep going. So they'll put that card back underneath, and then they'll do the next card, and they'll cover up one picture that starts with G, so we've got girl, and they'll keep going. And so then when they get back to K, they'll do another K, and then they'll do king. And that, that makes kind of the game last a little bit longer. Um, you know, so as they go through the deck, they only do one picture at a time. And once they get through and get the entire board covered up, then you could um, take these away and start another one. So you could start the next um, board and put the cards up there. For this board, you need L, M, N, O, and P. Um, and you would do the exact same thing. So I have um, these um, mats for every letter of the alphabet, so they'll be able to use the cards with every single one. All right, let me show you the next activity. Before I show you the next activity, I just want to show you some of these activities I keep in the gallon size plastic bags, like this one. Um, of course, with the picture on it and with the directions. And then some of them, if it would fit, I put them in the smaller sandwich size bags. Um, so just depending on where what it would fit in to store it. Okay, let me show you the next activity is a one with Play-Doh. Okay, so this is um, a Play-Doh letter match. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these cards. They all look like this. And what the child's gonna do is they're gonna take one of the cards, they're gonna roll out some um, Play-Doh with dough, like so. They're gonna stick it in the circle on the mat. And then they're going to use a letter, some kind of um, letter manipulative you have. Um, I'm gonna show you this with some magnet letters. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna find the letter that starts with this picture. So this is a top, so he's gonna find his T and he's gonna stick it in the um, Play-Doh and it will stick up, you can see that. And then he can do the next one, so that one's finished. Okay, then he has Sun, so he'll get another you know, Play-Doh ball. And this is good for um, their fine motor skills too because they have to roll it into a ball. I'm gonna push it down and then they're going to find the letter that matches. So this one is Sun. So they're going to stick the S in the Play-Doh for Sun. Can you see that? Um, and so you can use any kind of letter manipulative you have. If you have magnet letters, those work great. If you have um, letters from like a puzzle, those will stick up and work great. Um, if you have, um, what else have we used? Just any kind of letter, oh, letter blocks. You can even stick those into um, Play-Doh and they'll stick up too. So that is what this activity is, and there are cards for every letter of the alphabet for the kids to do for that one. All right, let me show you the next one. Okay, this one is dinosaur themed. It's dinosaur sound match it. You're gonna get a mat like this, and then you're gonna get the cards. Again, these cards come in color, but I did mine in black and white, and then put them on colored paper. Um, and I printed the mat then in color. So what they're gonna do is there's gonna be, these cards have two sides to them. And um, one side has the letter, and the, the other side has a picture. 
gonna put okay. some play-doh. Okay. So then, um, on the dinosaur mat, you're gonna get two types of cards. I think I just said that. And um, then they're going to take the side that, um, actually the cards come you know, together and you're gonna cut them up. And they're gonna take the side with the letter and they're gonna put that one down. So this one has the letter P. And then they're gonna go through the um, cards with the pictures and look for the picture that starts with the letter P. So here we have pumpkin. And they're gonna put it right here on their mat and they're gonna make a match. You can see that. There you go. And then they can continue on with another picture. So there they made um, pumpkin. The next one they can make N for nest. And they're gonna match up the little dinosaur. And then some of the dinosaurs are like this triceratops and then they also have um, this type of dinosaur which would match up with ostrich and he looks like that. Um, so they just continue on until they made all their matches on their mat. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, this activity is just a um, clipping activity with these um, clothespins and it's a good for fine motor as well. But what they're gonna do is they're just going to find the beginning sound. So this card, there's a card for every letter of the alphabet. This card is B, so they're gonna clip on, they're gonna look at this side, we've got wagon, duck, and ball. So they're gonna click, clip on ball. And then um, you've got carrot, B, and bed. So they're gonna clip on B, and then they're gonna clip on bed. I'm not doing it because it's hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea. So then when this card is finished, it would look like that. It would have three clips on it. Some of them have um, two pictures to clip. Some of them have one picture to clip. Some of them have three like this one. Um, just depends on the letter of the alphabet. And so, yeah, I have one for every letter of the alphabet. And they would clip. So like A, they're going to do alligator, apple, and ant. So that one has three. Let's see, D has dinosaur, duck, and dog. So that one has three. So some of them have three. Some of them only have two. Let's see, this one has cow, Cake and carrot, that one has three as well. Y has yarn, yo-yo, and yak, that one has three as well. So anyway, um, they're just gonna go through and they're gonna clip them with their clips. Also, if you don't wanna use clips, you can use manipulatives. So here's for Z, um, you can just cover them up with the manipulatives. So we have zebra, and we have zero, and we also have a zipper for that one. So you can do it that way as well. And of course, if you're doing it on a cookie sheet with magnets, it works really well. Okay, let me show you the very last activity. Okay, this one is an alphabet puzzle match. And basically what you're gonna do is, for this one, I only laid out two um, of the sets of cards, but there's one for every letter, two puzzles, but there's one, a puzzle for every letter of the alphabet. I set out two because if a child is, you know, really young, like my three-year-old, I'd only put out two of them. Um, but for older children, obviously, you could do a lot more. So what he's going to do is he's just going to match them up. Capital A, lowercase a. A is for apple. And then capital D and lowercase d. D is for duck. And then another thing I like to do when they're done with matching them up is I like to use magnetic letters. And I like to have them put the magnet letter right there on the picture is another reinforcement, so capital A and lowercase a. And then here he's, he would do capital D so he'd get his magnet letter. And he put it on capital D and his magnet letter for lowercase d and he put that one on there. And match them up just for an extra reinforcement. I like to do that, I think it's kind of fun. So that is how I would use these puzzles. All right, there you go, so guys, those are my eight activity centers for beginning sound alphabet letters. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time guys. Bye.